guys, thanks for stopping by D3 Performance Engineering. I'm actually David Donalds, I'm one of the owners here. I'd like to take you for a tour of the facility and then show you some of the projects that we have going on here. Right here we have one of our very important tools. It's actually our in-house 3D printer. It's used a lot by our engineering department. It's where we actually take our parts, we put them in 3D CAD models, and then we put them in here, print them out, and test them on the vehicle to verify everything is going good on them. Once we do that, we actually put them in production. Here's one of our parts. Right here we actually have some fabricated components that we manufacture, heat exchangers, tanks, and some other items. This is actually where we bring them after we get them fabricating them for quality control. We check everything out, make sure everything's up to spec, and then we can ship them out. We also offer this service for other businesses, whether it be design, prototyping, or manufacturing. If you need this, go ahead and just give us a call and we can get you set up. Right here we have our air conditioned fabrication shop. It actually houses three TIG welding bays. We have everything here for precision fabrication that's needed. Bandsaw, mill, lathes, sheet metal components, finishing components, back perch setups to do stainless welding correctly. Right here we have a Ferrari F430. We did a twin turbo kit. We did this whole build in four weeks for the Gold Rush Rally. Right here we have a Porsche 997. We're actually doing some upgrades on this and we're doing a Pro F5 112 install and of course we're going to do the tuning to go along with it. Right here we have a 5th gen Dodge Viper. We're doing a custom Pro F5 install on this as well. Right here we have a Lamborghini Murcielago. It's getting some custom fabrication work done. Right here we have a Penny G35 with a custom LSX setup. We're doing a twin turbo system on this, full fabrication and Pro F5 install. Shooting for about 1500 horsepower, getting ready for Texas Invitational and Texas 2K events. Right over here we have our service and motorsport wiring division. As you can see right here, we have a Nissan 240SX, 2JZ running 94 millimeter. Uh, we're actually getting ready to do the track prep on this and get it ready for the next event. Over here we have a Porsche 993 CT3. We're doing a custom Pro F5 race harness and install, along with some fabrication that it's going to be needing, and then of course the tuning on that. Right here is where all of our motorsport wiring actually happens, and you can see that we have two custom race harnesses actually in the middle of being built right here. These are going to be both on Pro F5 128 systems. Over here we have a Z06 Corvette. We just did a Pro F5 install. The wiring is completed. This thing is just waiting to get on the dyno and put down some numbers. Right here, we have Dewey's Drag 240SX. We just did a custom IRS 9-inch rear end kit on this. Doing some minor upgrades. This car already went 830s. We're trying to shoot for 7s as soon as it's back up and running. Right here, we have a 4th gen Dodge Viper twin turbo. We did the Pro F5 install and track tuning on this. Last week when we went out, we went 860s just on Wayscape. So we're doing a couple more upgrades, getting it ready, and then we're gonna go hit up the Texas Invitational soon. Let's go over here and take a look at our dyno facility. Here we have our all-wheel drive loading Dynacom Dyno. It has advanced knurling on the rollers. We've already put over 2,000 wheel horsepower down this dyno. We also have 44,000 CFM airflow uh, exhaust fans. This has an air change within the dyno cell every three seconds. This is primarily where we finish all of our tuning for all of our builds. We also do our product testing on here, and if need be, we also do tuning for other businesses. If you ever need that, visit us on the web, d3performanceengineering.com, or on Facebook. Thanks for coming by the facility today, but we got a car to tune. You have to get out of here.